Morning, Justin from Brickwright. We're watching Brad now screeding the uh, the paviers. So, you are Brad, I'm doing a video on you now. So, what are we doing? Right, so we're screening all this off. Uh, we're getting it ready for more paviers to go down. Uh, we'll, we'll do about a mix or two at a time. Screed it, layer, uh, cut it all in, get all that done. So, I'm doing that now at this minute. Cut uh, screening it now. Obviously, I'm using this, uh, just a bit of 3 by 2 Cut it to the length of the pavers either side. Not to the out. width of the pavers? Yeah, to the width of the pavers. Yeah. I've notched out for there. The pavers are 20mm thick, and I've notched yeah. out about 18mm, knowing that when it's screeded and we lay the pavers, we've got to give it a little tap down to, to encourage it to stick. So then it, it sticks nice, and we know it's going to work. Um, we're using just off a semi dry. It's not a, not a wet mix, and it's not a completely dry, semi dry mix. Because when it was a complete semi dry, uh, we were having trouble getting it to stick to the semi dry. What the, the, the slurry. Getting the pavia to stick yeah. to the semi dry, yeah. is it? So, what we were doing is we were dumping it with a hose. So, instead of doing that now, we're just mixing it the way we want it. And the way it works for us. Obviously, as you can see, it screens nice as well. So, yeah. Uh, doing that now um what else are we doing <laughs> <laughs> well you're not eating that's a that's a no, good thing no, no. and there's no food in the van is there no so the, McDonald's dinner time or? the trouble is when there's no food around and there's no food in the van to be eaten or he hasn't eaten then you don't function very well brad do you i'm doing all right thing. he has been looking at my arm a little bit I today to chew on that I did. did you what do you have for breakfast i had four wheat of eggs was that it I didn't have time for anything else, we had a shirt too early. So what's your order going to be for McDonald's later on? Give us an idea what you're going to be having. Big tasty. He, he means two big tasties. <laughs> and then what he's going to do while he's driving the car on the way back then, he'll be um, he'll be having like a, a, a double cheeseburger or something like that. Just a little treat on top, Brad, will it? I'll have two of them. See, I told you there was more to it. There was obviously yeah. more to it. And they got the new Galaxy McFlurry at the minute. So, so if anybody wants to make an order off McDonald's and ensure of the uh, menu, or, or any menu, <laughs> Indian, Chinese, anything like that, just give us a ring, because Brad will be able to uh, tell you what's on the menu any, anywhere you want, anywhere in the UK. But anyway... I'll anyway, tell you the price. <laughs> yeah, he will. He'll tell you the price. So anyway, back to this. So like the man explains, where uh, you can just see him screeding off there now. We whacked all that down, say whacked it, we hit it down with the back of a rake so it's compacted and then we just basically screed it off, slurry the back of the paviors, put a line up, so we got a line, we haven't got the line up at the moment, but we line off, even though it's on a curve, we line off the straight parts of the pavia to bring it through so everything is coming off squared and straight and then we just cut then on these corner bits here and put the cuts in, mark them out and just fill the radius in as we go so you get it like that then. So that's what we're doing. So we just thought if you're doing a path and you, you want a, an idea of how to do it, you put the side bricks in first. So the side of Brad's knees on the left and right hand side, you can see the, the pavers he's got his hand on now. We put those sides in first, um, do a nice strong three and one mix on that. Lots of slurry, hit them down, home them down to where they want to go. We've lined them in, we've squared them. So the screed rod fits in between them where he's going now. And then we just make the screed rod, make them up slightly, make the screed rod up slightly shorter than the pavia, so you get an ability to be able to knock them down. So you want the pa all the paving to be level then from left to right, and then let them set, and then we do the the flow point then on top. So that's where we are. So we just wanted to show you if it helps you and makes it easier for you to be able to do it. Then um, then great. But I'll, I'll show you a little clip now of what we've been doing over the last couple of days. So here we go. So the path is a big one. It, it goes all the way up to where the porcelain is up there, and it comes down here, all the way down here, right the way down. We've cut all that in, and then it goes all obviously then right the way down to where Fraser and Brad are laying down there. But this bit, show showed you this. I think I've put a video on. If I haven't, I will be putting it on about this uh, foundation. So we were here ten to eight this morning. Put this in in the dark to the pegs that we put in so there's a radius wall going there and there's a radius wall going here so we'll show you a little bit more of that and then the client 
has got a post box, you've got electric gates going between where the concrete ends there and when the concrete ends there and then he's got electric gates going in there so then from where the pavia is finished where you could say I haven't finished it that's coming into this bit here into a curve where he's got a, a built-in letter box so we can get his letters so inside so he doesn't have to open the gate so there we go thought I'd show you any questions on screed in the path or or anything you need for what we've said just obviously we're willing to help you give us a give us a ring if you like or give us a send us an email or if you want to get us through the website brickright.co.uk so stay safe Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers and all the support and all the help that everybody's given us because I'm learning off you guys, which is what I wanted to do. So you're teaching me. So really pleased about that. Stay safe. Be good. See you on the next one. Ta-da.